Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, new edition of Sonic Comic News for October 3rd, 2011. Well, a lot of news has really come forth over the past few days and in the past few weeks and months. You know, ever since 225, everybody's been wondering what, you know, the, char the fate of the character Princess Sally was going to be. No one really knew if she was going to live or die. Now, obviously, we have seen her in Genesis. Now, I did get my issue today, which surprisingly is a little later than usual, but I think i got to get used to that, seeing as though we're getting close to the holidays. But anyway, news is going around, I don't know, over the past few months and everything, as we all know, of what her fate would be. Many feared it might be death. Many feared it might be legionization, while others feared it might be roboticization. Or, the way I look at it, fusion. Now, here's what I mean, folks. Here's what I mean. The news that has come out over this past few months, along with the cover previews, have really gotten people, longtime fans, whether they like the way the book is written or not, or whether they like the characters, like Sally or not, has really put them in an uproar. Because the writer Ian Flynn has not totally given straight answers as to what exactly is going on with this character. Well, after the silhouette of 231 with the question mark, People pretty much had an idea of what happened, but still, they were up in the air. And then when the cover for 232 came out, they were still kind of questioning it. But yet, they pretty much had an idea of exactly what was going to happen. Now, apparently, Ian Flynn wanted to keep both 231 and 232 a secret with the question marks. Well, apparently that secret has been revealed. And Ian Flynn, from what I understand, is not too happy about it. You see, there's an online, there's a comic shop, apparently you can go buy comics at, physically as well as online, called, as well as online, called Big Wayne's Comics. And apparently Big Wayne's Comics has revealed the cover for 232, the official cover. And the answer that everybody, one of the answers that a lot of people have been fearing about has indeed come true. Princess Sally, as of 231, at the end of 230 and into 231 and 232, has been roboticized or fusioned. Because we get an announcement that Robotnik's launching the Titan Metal Sonic on the city. Well, Titan Metal, well apparently from what you could tell, that is an, that's not a Sonic in that, well apparently as you could probably tell in 232 if you ever look at it, that's not Sonic, that's Sally. So it's a Titan Metal Sally. But apparently the reason it's, she's being called Titan Metal Sonic is because she obviously merged, in my opinion, with metal. Now how this happens we'll have to read 230 for it. Now, Apparently, a lot of fans are outraged. They do not like the fact that Ian has gone in this direction. Some fans are outraged, and believe it or not, some fans are okay with it because to some fans who are okay with it, it creates character development. It's something that a lot of people say is long overdue. Now, a lot of people don't now the only question a lot of people have is how long will this last? Because you can't just take a character like Sally Acorn, in the eyes of many, and do this to her and make it permanent. I mean, you could, but what good is it, right? What good is it, to, in the eyes of some? Now, again, the question is that they have is how long will it last? Me, personally, I have mentioned this many times on various boards in long, detailed, uh, answers or responses to topics 
my true answer is I believe it'll last perhaps four to six issues, eight at least, or eight to ten issues at the most. Now Ian has said the effects are supposed to last for about a year. Now if that means from the time this has happened until next year, then yeah, it will last that long, but will it really last that long? Do we know? You see, that's the question a lot of people have. But apparently the news coming out of this is Ian Flynn is not too happy about the fact that 232 was revealed. But it's like I mentioned in one of those topics that I responded to, and I wasn't trying to be mean or sarcastic or anything like that. But what I said was, basically, does Ian take, does Ian take his longtime readers for idiots? I mean, I can understand, and no offense, I mean, I told, I said in that topic, I can understand if he's doing this for the newer readers to jump in on, because they don't know what's going to happen. But does he really take us for fools, the longtime readers? I really don't know. But I can say this, folks. Whatever Ian has planned for her is going to be huge. Now, Ian basically, before this all began, said things were about to change and that no one was off limits. Of course, this caused a very, this caused kind of some talk and controversy among the fans on all sides. Because fans of all sides, because the fans of all the, on all sides, basically were wondering, what does he mean by nobody's off limits? I mean, Sonic's a Sega character. Sonic's a ma the main hero of the games. Amy is Sega game-wise, and, and all that. They're wondering, what does he mean? Nothing's off limits. Well, apparently we now know what he means. Apparently what he means is nothing's off limits when it comes to the possibility of them going bad. So, example, well, I, so I guess he's starting out with Sally, which, of course, I think can be reversible, or will be reversible. But a lot of fans are kind of doubting exactly what Ian's got planned. Some fans have even come out and said they don't think Ian's ever liked Sally. Even though Ian has come out and said that she is one of the strongest female characters in the book. Now, whatever he has planned, many fans are hoping it's good. Because, like I said, there are some fans out there that don't believe he's ever liked her. And that he's just been doing this and that. Then, here's some interesting news, folks. According to somebody that goes on his Bumble King site, he made a topic. He made a topic that said, that addressed the whole situation. And he basically said at the end of this that the romance element, the romance perspective in the book is an element, not the driving force. Because he used examples saying that when he would put Sonic and Sally together, the Sonic Amy fans would be enraged calling him a Sonic Sally shipper. When he would do things like he's done to Sally, or will be doing to Sally in the next few months, Sonic and Sally fans get enraged and call him a Sonic Amy shipper. Now apparently Ian has gone out on this topic and said that he's not um that he he does not support either side. And that that he does not support either side. Right, and he never has. But according but according to a fan who obviously saved something that Ian posted a long time ago before he joined the book before he joined the book it stated from Ian Flynn according to this person that he was indeed in supportive of Sonic and Sally as a parent now according to this other report this other part from Ian apparently he's counteracting that now Now the thing is, what's, which one's truer? Well, apparently Ian is saying one thing, but from a post a long time ago before he became the head writer, there's another. But then again, there is the news that when you become a head writer, you can't really show favoritism to anybody. 
even though some fans say he blatantly does. But, but here's the thing, is he counteracting what he said, or is he just doing what any head writer does, says, hey look, I may like this pairing, but I can't show no favoritism, I gotta do what's right for the comic? Perhaps he is. But we don't know that. And then, here's the other news item. The other news item that has come out of this book. The other news item. The other news item that has come out of this is the fact. The other news item that has come out of this is that on his own site, Ian Flynn has actually told the fans on who, according to many, some sources, or are enraged by what he has done or will be doing, to take the whole Sally topic and her fate and put it in another topic area. Don't keep it in one area, keep it in a different area. He basically said, I'm moving what you guys are talking about, your topic, into another area. I'm separating it from this topic and putting it in its own topic. Now, when he mentioned this, at the end of what he mentioned, he has this little nervous smiley face. Like, what kind of little, not smiley face, but nervous smile icon, if you will. Smiley icon. Basically indicating that he's nervous about stuff. Like maybe fans are catching on to what he's doing. But we don't know how long this will last. But the question is, we don't know how long this will last. Which, of course, brings me to one of my announcements here on Sonic Comic News, and I'll repeat this when I do my opinions. Sorry about that, that's that light in the back of me. I don't know why it does that. Uh, anyway, here's my announcement. As you know, ever since I've been subscribing to the book, I've been doing a lot of constant video slash audio reviews, or just audio reviews or whatever. Well, I've come up with a solution to that. Seeing as though everybody doesn't know exactly how long this is going to last, and this is supposedly supposed to be a very, very big deal, I have decided to not, that after 2.30, maybe 2.31, but mostly after 2.30, early, that I will not do any more video reviews for a while. I'm not saying I'm quitting it, I'm just saying I'm putting it on hold until this whole thing settles down. What I mean by that is once we finally get a true answer as to if she'll be okay or not, whether she stays in this condition she's going to be in or not, only then will I start doing my reviews again. But, until that time, Until that time, I will not be, I will not, after 2.30, maybe 2.31, not be doing any more video, any more video audio reviews of the comic. Now, I'll still be doing my opinions, because the way I'll be doing it is I'll be reading up on the summaries people like Chaos Control 4 uh, puts on the websites. So... Until that time, so I'm just letting you know ahead of time that either with two, either with 231, either starting with 231 or starting with 232, but it'll probably be more like 231, I will not be doing video reviews anymore. Well, not anymore, but I'll be putting my video reviews on hold, I should say, until the time is right. So, in other words, until the time presents itself when we know everything will be okay. I'll still be doing my opinions, I will let you know that, I'll still be doing my opinions, I just won't be doing any reviews. And why is that? Because when I get my issues in the mail, I won't be opening them at all. In fact, I'll just be putting them in with the rest of my collection, and just like my video reviews, I will not open them up until we find out how whether this thing's going to settle down sooner than we think or not. Now, what does that mean? Does it well, that means possibly for four to six months I won't be doing video reviews, maybe up to a year. But if I feel like doing a video review, I may do it if, let's say, I start subscribing to Sonic Universe. Which brings us to another point that I want to make. Another point I want to make, folks. Obviously, 
we know what the next story arc in Sonic Universe is going to be. Now here's the thing that's always been a problem with this when it coronacts or crosses over with the main title. Here, here's the main problem with it, folks. Here's the main problem. Sometimes that story or the main, that comic or the main comic will usually give away the results of the other if they're kind of coronacting or contracting each other, kind of coexisting with each other in some ways. Now, because according to the Archie Sonic Wikipedia site, or the Mobile Encyclopedia, the events that, will be, that are currently occurring right now take place before the Babylon Rogues, oh, Rogues and the Battle Bird Amada attack the kingdom. So apparently, this is going to hopefully be settled and taken care of by then. But yet we don't know, but yet what fans don't know or realize is whether or not the favorite princess will be with alongside Sonic and Tails or not. Whether she'll be an enemy still under the control of Robotnik or, or she'll still be good but just in her, st but just stuck in the state that she's in. No one really knows. So, we'll just have to wait and find out. But that's all the news I want to give you guys today here on Sonic Comic News for October 3rd, 2011. I'll be back later on with my video review and my opinions. But again, remember, starting possibly with 231, video reviews will go on hold until this whole thing is settled. Opinions will still be around, just not the video reviews. So, thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you later.